This tutorial is about uh, the few little utilities here to help you with your mouse theremin arrangement. Um, so I have my mouse theremin going, so you're, you're going to want to get that going there. And uh, I thought I'd do a little arrangement of the Game of Thrones theme. So let's have a listen, see if we can uh, hear it. <laughs> Okay, so if we want to sort of find those those pitches, I remember your mouse is live, so you're going to want to find a sort of non a neutral part of. Okay, and if you go here to this little utility, this little function called MS Poll, let me make everything a little bit bigger. Uh, and I just I'm going to hit Command Return right on that line. And now you'll notice that uh, in the post window, there's a number of uh, with a bunch of numbers coming out. So if I find that pitch again, it's going to tell me uh, um, because it's mapped to the MIDI note numbers. It ma just maps the the mouse Y to the MIDI note number. It's going to tell me the MIDI note number there, which is uh, 79. Um, let me just erase all those. So I got 79 there for the first note. And then 72 for the second note. Seventy five. And I'm going to get seventy seven. Right, seventy seven. All right, and in order to stop this MS poll, you just uh, hit Command Return on the command here, MS poll free, and that stops the printout there. All right, so now I have a list of, and of course it goes back to 79 again, a list of uh, MIDI note numbers. If I just pop over to the internet again and Google Images, there's this nice MIDI note chart that I brought up. You can just do a images search. And let's, Look at the chart, uh, and what we have is 79 there is a G5, so G5, 79, G5, 72 is um, C5, 75 is D sharp 5. And 77 is uh, F5. Okay, and then we can use this other utility, MIDI 2Y, uh, and just put the, the note numbers in. So if we want G5, we put G5 in there. And that gives us 360. And that's going to give us the actual coordinate, the actual Y uh, pixel coordinate of where that G5 should be on our mouse theorem. And, and then C5. That's going to give us 447. And D sharp, well, this is the legend here. So D sharp, in fact, I'm going to have to use E flat. I just did that for convenience sake. I didn't put all the enharmonic equivalents. So hopefully you'll be able to figure that out, which E flat is E B5. And that's 410. And then F5. Is 385. Okay, great. So I have those. And if I just go ahead and open up the, the, the processing, bit of processing code here, Coolio 2. Um, and I just basically have to pop these coordinate numbers in. I'll just copy and paste. Let's start with the 360. And then the 447. And the 410. And the 385. And then I'm going to want to delete 
all the rest here. Oops, not that much. Just the rest of that code so I don't have any extra lines. And if I run that, hopefully it'll give me the proper score. score. Oops, if I can play it right. And there you go. That's how you use the utilities for your mouse there in Minerinkink.